Hello, everybody. We are back in the temple doing another tour, to, tour a tour through the temple 420 style. It's just amazing what this book really is. And now that I've absorbed it, it's in me, it's written in grain in my head. At that point, it resonates with every cell of my body because I took the book, burned it, it's a scroll, it tastes like honey, God fed it to me, and I had the calling of Ezekiel. And through my readings, we have fire and wood, and we put them together, we get light, and we bring the aroma to God and say, here, we serve you. If we really want his heart and soul and to be on fire, we need to add fire and wood. It's that easy. So we're finishing up Matthew 6 for the prayer part. And he goes through delivering us not into temptation, but from temptation. But he's going to deliver us because we're going to be reborn. For if your father, sorry, if you forgive other people when they sin against you so if somebody punches you or honks at you i had somebody honk at me today and it wasn't really honking at me because i was in my lane i'm like what are you doing dude and as i worked through it in my head i was like we just feel like if we hear something it doesn't sound good and we feel like we're responsible or we have to defend ourselves or maybe god just saw it all and we're supposed to take it in and understand so if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you when you sin. And if you don't sin again and you forgive everybody else, welcome to blamelessness, right? But, and there's always a but. There's always a, oops, Jacob, oop, Jacob slipped. Oop, Israel, Israel rejected God. Oops, we still reject God because we follow a foreign God named Jesus Christ which is a Greek name for a Greek translation, which is a mistranslation. So it says, But if you do not forgive others their sins, your heavenly Father will not forgive yours. So there's a really, really interesting conversation. I just want to go over the last part, and then we'll get into fasting on the next tour. You have two choices. You can serve God, an aroma, you can believe in the tree and breathe it, or you can not serve and question and doubt and grumble. And at that point, it's Moses and the sons of the Torah, or it's the sons of Korah, because that's a battle that happened in the wilderness. And here it is again, for if you forgive other people. So you know what? If you start today to say, you know what? No one right now is hurting me physically, emotionally, eh, it's my problem. And you start to work on those things. The next time someone, the next time someone says something to you, take it in like it just could dink or dink off you. And you become like this flint and it doesn't really affect you because you know God is showing you how they really are. And that's what the medicine does. It exposes everybody else's truths. Because you start, to, you start to learn what truth really is. And that's really embracing the medicine in the book for what it is. So, if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father Hashem will also forgive you. With the aroma, he'll stop sending the plagues. The more you believe, the more you believe, the more you believe. But if you don't believe, if you're an unbeliever in the branch and serving God with the aroma, and you do not forgive others for their sins, guess who won't forgive you? Well, that would suck, and that's a depressing feeling. So let's forgive everybody and be forgiven.